sense of humor is what put 542 dudes on that board. Yeah, and we actually have a 543rd. We're just waiting for him to send his fucking email in <laughs> so we can read it on the air. You son of a bitch. God damn it. <laughs> because I, I'm going to be honest. I mean, the reason I started counting these and reading them on the board is at some point, somebody's going to go, that guy's lying. He didn't do that. Lying. Okay. <laughs> Well, you can tap into Pop's records, his military record. It's all publicly available, I think. It's I on put the it, website it's on, now. It's on the Red Darkness website, yeah. yeah. Yep. Because mm -hmm. somebody was trying to say something about stolen valor, and you were oh, like, yeah. eh, fuck this. Well, yeah. I took my social security number off the documents, but I have the, the DD-214s. And they're like, well, those could be faked. Okay, what about all the fucking NCOERs from the units that co coincide yep. with uh, the bells and whistles? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Besides, show me a paratrooper without a bus without a busted back and busted knees, and I'll show you stolen valor. <laughs> oh, there you go, yeah. Yeah, that's there. I do have infantry back. Yeah, when you go into certain MOSs, it's like knees, back. Uh, there's certain things you just like. It's there. That that's yeah. totally from that. Correct. <laughs> Hence and, the butt donut. And I. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, you gotta bring that up? Because <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> no, yeah, I uh, I power slammed into the ground over a hundred. I quit counting at a hundred. I uh, like when something is becomes meaningless in my mind i stop tracking it like my airborne drops i quit counting at 100 because mm. i knew i'm never going to jump master school i didn't want to they tried to send me twice but my records were fucked up thank god <laughs> <laughs> and uh you know with the funerals i quit counting the funerals at 100 damn i'm just like you know what if i keep counting this is incredibly negative so i'm just gonna stop and it just became another thing you know an email funeral on friday funeral saturday funeral sunday yep. you know it's still pretty fucking grim going uh, to yeah. a funeral yeah. it is especially when you know you you're folding the flag for a guy who's in his prime who mysteriously died right after being served divorce papers or losing custody of his kids or getting orders away from his children. And uh, it is what it is. Yeah. So like we said, there will be lots of scores to settle. Mm -hmm. Amen to that. Not that it's advocated. Not that it's advocated, of but course. it's historical. Just implied. Just but, yeah. Listen, it's human nature. Best predictor of future is past behavior. Yeah, yep. and that's why we keep bringing up historic, historical examples. And that's why ladies like to say, once a cheater, always a cheater. And then out of the other side of their face, my past doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, it does. Math and dicks. Math and dicks, dicks. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So, Zed, Zed, um, remind me, how did you find the show? You're all the way in fucking Georgia. Well, uh, I think I told you this already. Uh, a friend sent me one of your videos uh it was called yeah can't cut the mustard yes <laughs> about women in the army and i watched it and i was like who the hell is this guy <laughs> <laughs> so i i watched another then i watched uh, 500 miles of mr right yeah and i was hooked yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah! another one can't cut the mustard is another one you can no longer watch on YouTube because it depicted violent content. What? Really? No. It was one of our first videos to uh. get completely banned off of YouTube, yeah. Yeah, yeah because it showed uh, ISIS executions, I think. Yeah. yeah. And, and then there was, uh, but the, which ironically I downloaded from YouTube. Yeah, we got all of it from YouTube. <laughs> Every single clip in there was downloaded from YouTube. Correct. You can't have this on our platform. Well, I got it from your platform. Irrelevant. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just a matter of time before Google and YouTube have a serious problem because oh, yeah. there is a lot of competition to YouTube now. Hey, you want to talk about a grudge list or a beat on site list that will eventually escalate into something else when the shit hits the fan? Uh, yeah, Google is going to be on that list for a lot of well, people. Well, a lot of the media corporations are going to get blamed for the pandemonium because, listen... People are like, well, they were they were doing propaganda. Fuck those guys. And there you go. Human nature. There's going to be a, a big, huge grudge match. 
Shit's going to go crazy. And there you have it. No I good. hope that cooler heads will prevail, that there will be some guys who will have enough willpower to make some unpopular decisions and unfuck this whole mess. Because otherwise, everyone will suffer. Listen, I'm telling you right now, if uh, Trump does not get elected, that's the only hope we have to, to you know, head this off at the pass. Yeah. And it needs to be a no-gloves approach if it's going to work at all. Correct. It, yeah. it, I mean, what's happening down in, in Argentina right now, that's what we need. Yeah. A hack and slash of the entire bureaucracy. Yes. It bleeds yeah. us dry <clears throat> so that they can justify taxing us into oblivion in order to continue giving away more money we don't have to countries that hate us. The largest employer is the government. Yes. <laughs> it's the state. They employ the most. So they have and they have they have the and let, let's just be truthful here. If that was to happen and you axed, you could probably get rid of 70% of the bureaucracy and all of the employees with said bureaucracy yeah. and still run the government. But that's a lot of people you're cutting free into the wind. <laughs> so they have to fend for themselves. No, I'm not saying they don't deserve it or it isn't needed. I'm just saying it's an added complication to the wristwatch of fuckery that lies before us. Oh, yeah. Well, they better learn to code. As they, <laughs> exactly. As they were so fond of saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, it's how to turn wrench. Yeah. Because if the shit hits the fan, the electronic infrastructure is going to be one of the first things to go. Learning to code don't mean shit. That's right. Bye-bye. Nor does influencer. Yeah, that's right. You, you social influencers out, influencers out there making your living off this, prepare to lick ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Prepare to eat ass. Yeah, that they're getting. When the grid goes down, so do you. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's it. You got to go to the grid glory hole. <laughs> it's a chain link fence with a bunch of cucumbers sticking through it. Get to suck it. <laughs> Yeah, because when you're looking down the barrel of a shotgun, your Twitter likes and Instagram followers don't mean shit. That's right. Yep. Because reality is the ultimate moderator. Yeah. That'd be a great shirt to wear to a to like a women's march when the grid goes down. So will you. Get to <laughs> sucking. Dave, write that down. <laughs> write that down, Dave. That'll be a great <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Those ladies would like whip eggs and tomatoes and shit. <laughs> I turn into the penguin and Batman returns. Why is there always somebody who brings eggs and tomatoes to a speech? <laughs> <laughs> Running around with, with an umbrella. Damn it, I picked a cute one. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> Fuckers. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> These people have had it too good for too long. Yep. And they started to take civilization for granted. Mm hmm. Uh, they think that food just magically appears prepackaged in supermarkets and the truckers bust their ass for nothing. Mm -hmm. They think electricity just ma magically comes from sockets. And all of the backstage maintenance is done by stupid backwards rural hicks, as they're so fond of putting it. Yeah, rude. So, yeah. 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 And being ignorant of all of this creates a completely delusional view of reality. Oh, yeah. You, these are the same people who take a look at all of that stuff, all of which includes the labor of other people, and they call it a human right. Like, no, it's it's human a human right, right is what's given to you by God that cannot be removed by any system of government. That is it. Correct. Everything else is totally up for debate. I would have to agree with you on that one. Yeah. You are not entitled to anyone's free labor just because Karl Marx told you so. He was a piece of shit. <laughs> he was yeah. a shitless layabout who wanted to create a perfect society that would allow him not to work while his bastard children offed themselves or died of overdoses. All right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and he relied on his friend to exist, on his friend's money. Yeah. He was not a thinker. He was a stinker. <laughs> shitless layabout. That's going to be one hell of a show if I could put that together. <laughs> I, I remember, like, growing up with people who thought Marx was some kind of a genius. I yeah. was like, are you fucking retarded? Him, Che Guevara, and whatnot. You go to any university, these people are on on shirts. Yeah. Like, yep. making money for capitalists when they're supposed <laughs> to be these, like, ultimate socialists. And anybody who knows, like, the real, like, Che Guevara, like, yep. he was born into a prominent medical family. Like, only... Only overprivileged people can go and fantasize about creating chaos and yep. call it romantic. 
they're idiots. That's right. Like, there's nothing funnier and nothing that allows me to instantaneously judge somebody's room temperature, smooth brain IQ, like seeing a black dude wearing a Che Guevara <laughs> shirt and a bunch of alphabet soup fucks saying pre free Palestine. And they're right. probably working for the ADA, too, because we all know how that guy felt about the disabled. These are cows walking into the slaughterhouse, and they're too fucking stupid to realize they're on the menu. Uh, hang on, hang on. We had somebody who's like, can you give us examples of uh, uh, dehydrated food? Okay. Rice! Noodles! Jerky! Beans! You can Milk powder. Beans. Yeah. Yes, you can get dehydrated milk, dehydrated eggs. You can buy a dehydrator. It doesn't even require that much power. A solar panel could, could yeah. do it right there. You could throw fruit in there, whatever. It'll last for a long time that I, way. I, I know you can go take your ass to Costco or BJ's where they don't have BJ's. And you can buy those 30, 40, 50-pound bags of rice. Throw it in your fucking car. Take it wherever you need to cache it, because and you wrap it up in plastic. Stuff stays good for yeah. I don't know ever. Time. Flour, you can store flour for decades. You don't have to fuck with it. You just got to keep it dry. Just watch out for rats. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know you, and, that's a whole other pests. Thing. Other pests. Yeah. Democrats. Well, like <laughs> I, my buddy, he uh, has a bunch of flour and rice and, and stuff like that he puts it in those plastic totes and in the winter because he's up in new york state when it's really fucking cold he leaves it outside and that cold kills all of the eggs and stuff from any insects that happen to be in there yep he just keeps it sealed and then he brings it in his house and he checks it in from time to time and it, it works yeah and it doesn't all it requires is the effort to drag the shit outside in the cold there you go also, cans, canned stuff in general, stuff like spam, yeah. it can last forever. Like some of them have an expiration date of five years. Yeah. Just watch out for homemade canned products because this shit can kill you. Oh, yeah. Spam and eggs and rice, man. It's a great breakfast. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every once in a while, I'm just like, you know what? I want some spam and eggs and fucking rice, and I'm going to cook it up right now. Sounds like a great idea. Hell yeah. <laughs> Spam is the reason Hawaii is so fat. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Oh. They consider it their national dish or something. They eat Spam every day in huge amounts. Yeah, whatever works. Oh, whatever. I've been there and just seeing a bunch of like like weirdly hairy old men with like the deepest wow. tans you could possibly imagine. And then they have these cop <laughs> bone baby ass cracks hanging out of their fucking swimsuits. Well, a Two lot bags of, that of groceries is, in either hand. A lot of that is genetic too. <laughs> Because I had all kinds of uh, soldiers from Fiji and Guam and Hawaii, and it was just a constant battle against the tape because they could walk by a, a 31 flavors and gain 15 fucking pounds. <laughs> I, I, it, I mean, it happens to me, but I gain like three pounds. Baskin Robbins don't mess around me. No, dude. I walk, I walk by a Baskin Robbins. I meet like you got to run five miles. Evil pop starts tickling the lock in the box. Yeah. <laughs> like, Baskin Robin, ba Ben and Jerry's. Oh. No, the favorite <laughs> thing is uh, chocolate, raspberry, truffle, ice cream from 31 flavors. I thought it was mint chocolate chip Briars. That's You can buy that at the store. Oh, okay. But, but my I, arteries are clogging just from hearing this. <laughs> like one of my favorite things to do when I used to compete. You're going to die, Terrace. Is I, you'd have to cut a few pounds, and I'd work out real hard, whatever. I'd do the fight. Then the next day, or after that, or the first weekend, I would eat nothing on Friday. Saturday, I'd get up right around noon. I would go to the 31 Flavors and get a large double chocolate fudge shake. Drink the whole thing. It was literally the equivalent of morphine. Because <laughs> I would go into these deep sugar comas. I would have the best fucking dreams. It, it explains a lot. Four to five hours. I get up around five. I'd be like, oh, oh, fuck, I'm tired. You find any oh. new empty pints of ice cream under your bed lately, Paul? <laughs> no. No, I've been actually forget about that. I quit taking the, the, uh, the ambient. I'll tell you, it's still one of the funniest damn things I've ever seen in my life. 
I mean, I, I hear these stories, but it's very different when, you know, you're wrapping up a stream and it's like dark in here. You got one light on an upstretch. You're ah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Comes downstairs with the empty bed. 1300 fucking calories. You piece of shit. What were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just standing there laughing my balls off. Like this is probably the greatest day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at Pop's epic failure. I got the back of my head, I just hear Lord Zed going, Terrence, if you do not stop with the ice cream at 3 a.m., you're going to die. You're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I miss that doctor. Spence not. Uh, Dr. Kleppner, he was the bomb. <laughs> but he retired. Oh, yeah, he's retired. He's, he ret he re was in his 72 when he finally retired. Oh, yeah. I mean, he hung on forever. It's a good run, man. My uh, childhood pediatrician, coolest doctor I ever knew. He was, you know, getting ready to push up his first daisy when I was his patient. And he, he was just hanging in there. Great dude. To call him. Yes. Some people call. live so long they seem immortal. Like uh, yeah. the doctor, the doctor who saved me when I was just a little kid. She was with me the whole time I was growing up. And just recently, I got the news that she died. And I'm like, how old was she? And my friend is like. 106. God Whoa! damn, I don't want to see that number. Did you hear Holy. about the dude in Japan? No, no. He's 102 years old and he's going to run a marathon. Well, good for him. I, <laughs> That's awesome. I am on the 65 and out plan. That's badass. If I go beyond that, I'm, I'm, it's probably because I got in trouble and I'm in the penalty box. <laughs> I've seen an 82-year-old dude not only running track, but doing hurdles. Yeah, well, good for That's him. That's some impressive shit right there. <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah, but it is what it is. So while while all of this craziness was going on in your country in Georgia, what did you guys eat? Whatever we could find, whatever we could make, whatever. Uh, you see, uh, you could not just go to the store and buy stuff because there were no stores or they used to be, but they all got looted. Mm -hmm. So we had to call in favors, you know, find guys who knew guys, uh, go up into the, I don't know, somewhere where we could buy food from a farmer. So we survived. It was a constant fight for food. And to me, just bread and cheese, just regular bread and cheese was a delicacy. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Damn, that's some cat. I mean, I used to dig around dumpsters for food. I'm not oh, ashamed. No, I, I don't. I, when I was in ranger school and special forces selection, the dumpster was very inviting. <laughs> <laughs> a dump dumpster? No, no. So, <laughs> the dumpster behind the, the DFAC. The DFAC? Dining facility. Oh, okay. That sounds really, really sus. Well, that's what we call it in the military. I'm going to the DFAC. I'm eat. a DFAC. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's how it went, man. I mean, uh, we had one bakery for the entire city, and you could see people lining up at 3 a.m. in the morning for it. And then when they would get their bread, you know, nasty bread made from gray, nasty flour, mm. they would start fighting over it. They would fight over every loaf. Yeah. And Bernie was Sanders calls horrible. that a good thing. Yes. Yeah, Bernie Sanders would have loved it. Oh, yeah. He'd probably be touching himself right at the front of the line. <laughs> that Fuck fat that tub guy. of shit. Fat tub of shit. So I'm I, a socialist. Yeah, your three mansions say otherwise. Well, Zed, the reason I'm asking these questions is uh, I just try to get a feel for what happened. Because let's be honest, the same thing's going to happen here if it gets that bad. Well, you, uh, in case it happens, which I hope it doesn't, America will be coming down from a far greater threshold. So you will have uh, all of these factories and whatever, which still can sort of run. So you will be able to support a slightly higher standard of life than I had because we came down from the Soviet Union. We already were poor as shit. Mm -hmm. So we went from poor as shit to practically zero. You will still have some, you know, this extra fat. Hopefully. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Mm -hmm. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporters Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.